Lehigh Valley Hospital in Hazleton recently welcomed a brand new president, and I am honored to have her with us here today, Dr. Tammy Torres. Thank you so much for joining us. It is my pleasure, and please call me Tammy. I'm a very informal, don't stand on titles at all. So uh, it's a pleasure to be here, so thank you. Thank you so very much, Tammy. Tammy, tell us, tell our viewers a little bit about yourself, your background, where you came from, and how you came to Hazleton. Okay, be happy to do that. So I am a native New Yorker. Uh, I was born and raised in uh, New York. My family is from Puerto Rico. Uh, so they came over very early on. So I have, I'm one of four. And uh, again, lived my entire life in uh, New York City. And I enjoyed that. And through navigating, unfortunately, let me back up and just give you a little bit. So one of four, the youngest, my youngest brother, spent a lot of time in the hospital. And uh, through that, because both my parents spoke Spanish, it was very difficult for them to navigate the healthcare system, mm -hmm. you know, with the language barrier. And at the age of 14 and 15, I became that person, that interpreter for them. Um, and I always felt that I just wasn't capturing what was being said and imparting that to my parents uh, so we can make informed decisions about his health. He is fine, he's an adult man doing wonderful, but you know, he was as asthmatic. He had a lot of pulmonary issues throughout his whole life. So um, with that, that was really what motivated me to become who I am today and become part of healthcare to be able to make it better for those um, in the hospitals that were not English speaking. Uh, so that is my mission in life. And in, in regards to that, it also is all about the patient and making sure that we stay focused on the patient and we move services around that patient instead of other, you know, the other way around. So, um, so how I got here, very interestingly, I was doing a lot of work out of another community hospital. And uh, after COVID, um, we came to the realization that the community hospital couldn't stay just a single standalone and we converted it into a healthcare network situation. Uh, so through that um, I got offered positions to stay but I decided it was a good time to really move on. I was living at the time in New Newtown Square, Pennsylvania and I got reached out by a recruiter and I read the job description for this position and it just was, I told my husband we're going. Um, you know, we have to move because this just speaks to me. And uh, I came for the interviews, and it was wonderful because as I got here, um, I had driven through Hazleton, I had really done my research on the area, and I just felt that this is where I needed. This was my calling, this is where I needed to be. And I interviewed with the team here, and they felt the same way about me. So it is really a pleasure to be here. Now, with that being said, I'm a little afraid of the terrain here, so I'm working <laughs> through that process right now of just getting rid of that phobia. But I love the mountains and just love being part of the community. I live in Drums uh, uh, PA right now. Oh, well, welcome to the area. Oh, thank you. And I love the part that you began as a nurse, so you know, first and foremost, what patient care is. Oh, absolutely. And, uh, you know, being a nurse is, is difficult because you have to meet all the needs of your patients. Um, and as everyone knows, post COVID, what has happened here with healthcare, especially with key positions. So it's really hard to recruit and to get nurses to stay. Uh, we've been lucky, you know, at Hazleton because we have a lot of wonderful nurses that are right here in the community um, that do this work and, you know, love taking care of their neighbors. But still, on any given day is a challenge because people do need their time off. They need to decompress uh, from everything that we've gone through, you know, during the COVID and now post COVID. Well, what is your vision for this area? Did you come here with something in mind or you just checking things out first to see where you go? How will you take it? I think it's a combination of both, both, but foremost, it's really integration of the hospital with the community. And, you know, having the hospital, um, I, I should say the community feel that this is their hospital and that they're welcome to come in. 
And so really it's meeting with the community, finding out what parts are still missing, um, what they feel we need to do better at. So that's my mission really just to start getting out there and meeting the community and hearing what concerns are there. But from, I can tell you, and you'll be hearing more about this, from a quality standpoint, we are leapfrog A. So what does that mean is that we're at the highest quality at the hospital. Um, and then in addition to that, we're a four-star hospital, and so what does that mean is that that delivery of care is reaching the patients in a very positive way. These are independent, third-party reviewers that look at everything, from our patient scores to um, the outcomes that we have and how we handle the cases in the hospital. And so they have given us those grades, and you'll hear about that, but I want to make sure that the community hears that message and feels it when they come in.